Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here on American Falls now. Um, I still have the other series going, but I started this one. Starting a new farm. I did buy a few fields. Three of which, or four, are ready to harvest. Let me take a look and see. I have... Four fields ready to harvest. I already have my hired helper out there starting with the combine already. We got to get to the field because um, I'm going to have to do grain cart duty. So let's head over there. While the combine's working, I'll show you guys around just a little bit. Um, gonna do the best I can to play as realistic as possible. I guess I can't see anything, can I? So I'm gonna take a chance. There we go. All right. Didn't hit anybody. That's a good start to the day. Anyway, the farm is right down here. I want to get uh, at least a couple of these fields harvested. Oh, nice way to blow the stop sign, dude. Anyway. It's the first time I've been on the, on this map, other than when I was just adding some equipment to it. Anybody can tell me what the main purpose of that building is for? Is that a general purpose shed? Is that like for straw, equipment, whatever? Because I really don't know. Um, guess I'll use it for whatever I need it for but for right now I'm just gonna head over here park the truck and then I'm just gonna jump down here into the Alice Chalmers here do my grain cart duty I have two of the Parker grain carts ready to go Not too sure where the combine's at yet, but I think I have a little bit of time. So what I'll do is, is I'll show you guys around just a little bit. Here's my New Holland baler, the John Deere baler. I do have one of the brand new horse cedars um, that's from the DLC I don't have any animals yet haven't done anything with that yet still trying to uh, figure out what I want to do here I am gonna do animals I'll probably do cows at some point here but um, baby steps do have a really nice shed here. Got the old Mac sitting here. One of the things that I do need is a pressure washer, apparently. Um, we've got the grain auger here. This field has absolutely nothing in it, so I guess I could plant something in it. Um, I guess that would be something that I could do. Uh, let's see what we got for the calendar here. I could plant canola, or I could wait until October to plant wheat so that I have something to harvest again in June. Um, hmm. Well, all right. I'm not too sure if I'm going to change the grain bin setup or not. I don't know. I did not add any buildings. I have not added anything other than the def tank and the diesel tank. These are the only things that I have added so far. Everything else is still true to form the way he's got it. I have no idea where my combine is at. Am I looking in the wrong field or is he 
receive fall. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't even see him. So I guess I'm gonna go find out. Hopefully this isn't a deep ditch. Alright. Normally what we would do is... We would leave the gravity wagons out in the field and just bring the combine to it if you were working by yourself. Yeah, he's full. So I might take over and do that, or I'll just bring the gravity boxes with wherever we go. I think this map is done really well. I know that he worked on it for, what was it, 13 months? That's an awful lot of dedication for somebody to put into a map, you know, and let the community get to him. Like I said, I really hope that he comes back. As you can see, I've got the 8820 here. Two-wheel drive, not four-wheel drive. Why don't you guys just sit back and enjoy the video and I'll get back to you in just a little bit. We're on our last couple passes here. So what we'll probably end up doing is moving to the next field. Don't mind that deer that was just kind of hovering out of the middle of nowhere. I guess that was one of the uh, things that he was going to fix before everybody started whining about his map. Um, which, let's face it, guys, that's exactly what everybody was doing, was whining about something when he had an update that was about ready to come out. So, I don't know. In my opinion, if you don't like the map, then you don't play it. I mean, that's just me. 
Um, I'm very thankful for everything that these guys have done. The modders, you know, they they don't get paid by giants. They don't get paid for anything. So, I mean, everybody. I mean, all of you guys that, you know, if, if you make a mod, you go to release it on the platform, you know, you, you can't expect everybody to like it. I've been waiting for this map for quite some time. Yes, there was a lot of hype to it, but again, you know, I'm not going to complain about the deer over there floating because I really don't care. I could turn those off. You know, I could turn the wildlife off. I don't care. So, anyway, we finished up this field here. This should be about it. I'll unload into the gravity wagon. Um, ah, crap. Got a little bit I missed right there. I said we'll unload this. And we'll get ready to move on to the next field. I do like how the guys have um, did an amazing job on the sounds of this combine because you could actually when you're inside the combine you can hear the auger kick on get over here so you guys can hear it you should be able to hear it turn on it's real faint but um, that's the one thing that I remember most about the combines. As soon as you turn that auger on, the whole machine starts bouncing. It's, uh, it was pretty cool. Um, so that's it for this one. Let's figure out what field we need to go to next here. All right, we made it to the next field. Let's get this opened up, and then I'll head back over, and I'll grab the gravity wagons. I'm going to unload them first, and then uh, I'll get them over here and park them in the field. I don't think I'm going to need both of them. This is a pretty small field. But, I mean, this uh, combine seems to be running pretty well. I guess only time will tell. It is an older machine, you know. We're talking about a machine that was built back in the late 70s, early 80s. Still going. And believe it or not, there's still a lot of these combines that are still out there, especially down south. Um, up north, up in Wisconsin, we have quite a few of them, too. And it's always great to see these old machines out in the field. It really is.
guys. I'm gonna go and unload the combine real quick. And that'll probably be it for this field. I uh, unhooked one of the gravity boxes. I don't need it. Looks like we got a little bit of mud in this field here. So we'll get this unloaded. Finish off this field real quick. Just want to take a look real quick at the covers. Everything still looks pretty good. Just adds to the realism, that's all. up you can see the fan I like it I do I like it you can come over here check out your motor real quick you know add a little bit of coolant I like what they've done with this machine. I really like it. And open up that door there. Check out your feeder house if you want to. Go. Open that up. Make sure your chains and everything are where they're supposed to be. Alright, well, we are now jump inside here all right let's get this field going all right final pass here let's get it unloaded I'll figure out what the next field is. I think it's right on top of that hill right there. It's got quite a bit of weeds in it, but let's get that taken care of. This is obviously one of my smaller fields here, so. But it's what we can afford. That's what we got. I now have 162,000 in the bank, so that's what happens when you hire a worker. Start hemorrhaging money. Wait for this truck to pass, and I'll get into the field real quick. field I don't think I'm gonna hire a worker for this one I'll just do this field myself and I want to get some bailing done and seriously think about selling some stuff so that I can make some cash I also know I've got some fields that I need to add herbicide to and I also need to add fertilizer to some of these fields I do have some more equipment that I need to pick up as well. I do need to get an anhydrous bar. I gotta get a sprayer. There's a John Deere sprayer that I was looking at. Um, don't really need anything 
too big, I'll probably have to take out a loan, which is fine. Um, I'm not into too much debt just yet. I do have stuff I can sell. I do have a good baseline of equipment to get the 4440 out to start bailing some of this stuff. back up a little bit more here. Then I have to look at my cell points and see who's taking what and when and for the best price. And I guess we'll just take it from there. So let me open up this field and I'll talk to you in a little bit. last pass here in this field and then we're done now we got a little bit of field work that we need to get taken care of we got some weeds that need to be knocked down in other fields we got some baling to do we got a lot of stuff to get done here um gonna unload this real quick Unload this. Check our fuel here. Yeah, we're still good on fuel. But uh, I'll see you guys back at the farm. And then we'll probably hook up the John Deere to the baler and we'll get that all taken care of. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, I'm back to the farm here. Just kind of cleaning off the combine. She's a little worse for wear. But, we'll get her cleaned up. Ain't no big. I think the combine is good to go. Let's clean off this header here real quick. She might be old, but she does the job, and she doesn't cost me anything but some repairs every once in a while, so. Can't bitch. All right. Take care of that. We'll put that away. 
I'm gonna go grab the Al Chalmers and unload that. I'll be right back. All right. Let's go grab John Deere. Hook it up to the baler. Wanna get some baling done today. At some point, I'll uh, either hook this one up or hook this, the uh, Alice Chalmers up to the sprayer over here. Try and get some spraying done. Probably not in this episode, though, but pretty soon, hopefully. Maybe the next episode of will, uh, or I'll do it offline, one or the other. I just bought this baler. It is used, but they reconditioned it, so it's in fantastic shape. Can't complain about the way they took care of it, that's for sure. Did an amazing job. this up it's also got that quick connect on there so all i gotta do is back up to it and it finds itself and brings it up on there saves your time all right All right, guys, as you can see, it's getting pretty dark out. Uh, I have filled three of these trailers. Um, it doesn't say how much is in the trailer. But let me turn the lights on back here for you. I have filled three of these trailers. I'm going to go sell them in the morning. See what I've got for income. Really like to get a good used round baler. Um... Square bales are great for around the farm, but sometimes you just need some bigger stuff, you know. Uh, I don't know too many guys that really mess with the square bales anymore, especially if you want to be a bigger operation. But I do love the bale thrower. You don't have to stop. Let me just finish this last row up over here. I know it's not perfect. 
but I've got a lot of bales here. So I'm going to either lease a round baler just to finish that other field off. Because I have got a ton of stuff. Alright, that's going to do it. Right there, that'll be it. Right there. Good morning, everybody. Alright, well, there's the bales. That one's not quite full all the way, but these two are pretty full. Uh, I'm going to send these off to the bale sale, and I'm going to try and get some cash for them. Going to disconnect the tractor real quick here first. that get this out of the way get my truck over here hopefully I don't lose any in the process I don't think I will but this is farming simulator you know stuff likes to happen once I sell these bales, give me an idea of what I've got for income coming in. Probably call it an episode there. Pretty nice, though, to be able to cruise around the map and see what we got going on here. Let's see, is this where I'm supposed to go here? I believe so. It should be, let me take these straps off here. forward Let's see what I got here 125 bucks a bale all right 2,000 about three thousand dollars nice nice plus I got an environmental score cool Just gonna go out this little goat path on the road here. Tell you what, I'm liking this map. I do. Lancy boy, no matter what the haters say, you did a good job. So hope you come back. Really love to see the uh update that you had planned for this map but don't I get it just sorry to see you go man that's all but, all right folks now I'm gonna call it an episode here I'm gonna put these away I think I'm just gonna leave my bail trailer back here for now Again, thanks a lot for watching. If you're not a part of the Facebook group, Midwest Farmer, please go ahead and send a request and I will uh, accept it. I'd also like to have you join our Discord. And that would be great too. Uh, please, uh, if you're so inclined, should like and subscribe to uh, the channel here, and I would appreciate that as well. So you guys have a good week, and I'll see you next time.
Thanks a lot. And have a good one.